everyone, Alex here and welcome to this knee strengthening workout. No more knee pain. And trust me, I would know. I went through a long period of time of having really sore knees and I did these exercises that I'm about to show you on a regular basis and they got my knees so much stronger. And when we're saying about knees being stronger, it's not actually the joint that's getting stronger. It's about having strength in all the surrounding muscle groups around the knee so you get the stability and strength in the knee and therefore no more knee pain. Okay, so let's get started in these exercises. Coming down onto the ground, we're gonna start with a really simple quad contraction and leg lift. So come onto the ground, focus on one leg at a time, and we're gonna go for 10 reps. All we gotta do is focus on contracting the quads. Squeeze it here and then just lift off the floor with me for 10 reps, okay? Come down, you can either release the leg again or keep the contraction two, three. So this is a focus on the quads all the way up to the hips. And we're getting that contraction in this quad here, which is one of the, the major muscles that supports the knee. So keep going for a few more for 10 reps. Two more. And we're just doing this exercise, one more to activate the quads before the other exercises. Let's now go into the same on the other side. Relax that leg, same on the other side, Con contract the quad, squeeze it here, and then lift. Have a slight pause at the top and control down 10 reps. Eight, two more, slight pause at the top. You should feel the quads working, one more. Okay, good, we're gonna come into a side-lying leg lift. We're gonna start with all these easier muscles, easier exercises before we come into a standing position in a side-lying leg lift for 15 reps, okay? So lift up the leg, that's all you gotta do. Squeeze the glutes, the hips at the top here. Let's go for 15, that's two, three, Four. So now we're working into the glutes, the hips, which is a major muscle group for stabilizing all the way down the leg. Keep going for 15, that's 10. Keep your feet facing forwards and make sure you can feel that contraction deep in here. Two more. One more, and turn around to the other side. Straight into it. And same here, lift it up. Five more reps. Try not to give the leg back onto the floor. You want to keep the tension in here. So building strength and muscle in these glutes. One more. You should feel that nice healthy burn. Turn around, let's do it again. Let's do two sets of this exercise. And let's go back onto the first side and lift. 15 more. Keep it going, it should be burning, right? That's good, we're building strength in these muscles. A few more reps. And one more. Good, well done. Turn around over to the other side for the second set. And let's go. Sometimes I like to place my hand here or here so I can feel the contraction happening because sometimes it's about that mind to muscle connection, squeezing the muscles that you're focused on working.
and a few more, almost there. It's burning for me, so I know it's working. One more. Good, well done, rest there. Now we're gonna take it into a glute bridge. Two sets of this one as well. So now we're gonna really focus not just on the glutes, but running into the hamstrings behind the knee, which is really important to strengthen this area and stabilize behind the knee. So, feet flat on the ground, hands down on the floor, pull in the belly, tuck under the tailbone, and lift up into a bridge. Let's go for 15 reps. Pause at the top and control down, and then lift again. Slight pause at the top, squeeze the muscles, and release. Let's go for 15. That's three. That's 10 for me, five more to go. Make sure you put in the belly, nice core engaged. Lower back is working here as well. Good one for strengthening the lower back as well as the knees. Two more. One more. And release it down. And let's take 20 seconds break, just hug in the knees or stretch the legs out. And let's do that again for a second set of the bridge. Make sure that you're keeping your hips, knees, and ankles all in one line when you look forward. So don't allow your knees to cave inwards or have them out too wide. Feet flat on the ground, toes and heels touching the floor. Let's go for set two. Put in the belly and push through the floor, lift up. That's 10, keep going nice and slow. Squeeze at the top, lift the hips up. And one more. Good, well done. Glute bridge is complete. Now we can come up to a standing position. Let's start working in a balance, okay? We're gonna go for a one leg balance. So let's choose one leg, whatever leg you want. Knowing that you probably have sore knees more on one side than the other, but it's very important to do this workout on both sides so you're building the strength up and stability up on both knees. So choose a leg, doesn't matter which one, and we're gonna go for a one leg balance. Let's just start here, just balance on one leg first of all, we'll progress it, we're gonna go for one minute, and first of all, look down, make sure that you're tracking your knee nicely in the same line as your feet. Your feet are flat on the ground, I sometimes like to do this kind of training without shoes on so I can get a better connection, but depending on where you are, if you are home and you can do barefooted, then that's good because you want to focus on the toes, gripping on the floor. From here, you can have a slight bend in the knee or locked out, depending on how you feel. And this alone is great work for stabilizing and strengthening in the knees. You might find if you're wobbling all over the place, then that's a good indicator that you need some stability and balance work. From here, let's spend the, the last few seconds pulling the knee up. And as you lift this knee up, think about squeezing the glutes at the back of the standing leg. And three, two, one, and switch over straight into the other leg. Start with just getting warm and balanced in the standing leg. And then we'll do the second half with the knee up. You might find that one side feels very different to the other. That's completely fine and normal. And we're here to try and balance off those areas. So think about the same things on the other leg. Soften the knee. And as you come back and keep repeating this, you can start to progress and push yourself in other ways. 
So you can bend down in a single leg squat here or even close your eyes to see how well you balance. Let's now lift that knee up, squeeze the glutes at the back and stand. Strengthening around the knee. Okay, and release it off there. Go straight into the first leg again. We're gonna progress this in a, a star step. So, we're now balancing, come with me, and we're gonna step this other leg forwards. Just tap the floor, bending that knee, then tap out to the side, four positions, then behind, and then underneath. Then start again, in your own time, just for one minute, move between those four positions. Don't ever take the weight off of this standing leg. And we're just getting this leg ready to move in different positions, forwards, sideways, and take a different load. We're building strength in all the supporting muscle groups here around the knee, the quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves, Three, two, one, same, on the other side. Get the balance, and when you're ready, go through those four positions. Forwards, sideways, back, and underneath. And as you come back, or if you're already quite strong and this is easy, then you can apply more and more knee bend in a single leg squat so if you're a beginner got quite a lot of weakness around the knees then just small steps is what you want and as you get stronger you can take this leg out further applying more knee bend so make this workout completely personal to you and what you need today Five seconds. Well done, rest there, shake it off. Have a rest if you want. Let's now move into a calf raise. So we're gonna strengthen this area here, which really does impact our knee stability. So um, you can hold on to something or just come in a standing position, or if you can get anything where you can drop your heels off. I don't have much here. I can get like an inch from this mat. But if you have a step, or a book to stand on, that'll really help. We're gonna go for 15 reps, and all we're gonna do is push our toes in, lift our heels up, squeeze the calf, release back down. Let's go. Two. Three. Ten, five more, nice and slow, squeezing the calf muscles. And rest there, shake it off, okay, good. Let's go for a second set in 15 or 20 seconds. You can also do this in isometric holds. Sometimes as a running warm up, I like to come on my toes and walk around like this. That's a great way to activate and strengthen the calves and around the ankles. So don't forget that one. But for this workout, let's continue on this calf raise. Let's go for set two. Here we go. One. Five more, sometimes it is easier if you're able to just hold on to something so you can focus on squeezing at the top, getting that slight pause. One more, good, well done. Okay, we're gonna take it now into the lunges. Now, isometric holds, which means reps without moving or contraction without moving um, through the range of motion, is a great way for building strength, especially whilst you're um, in any kind of pain in the joint. So when I was building strength back up in my knees, for a long time, 
uh, not for a long time, but at, at the beginning, I was just doing isometric holds and I got stronger so quickly, in fact. So we're gonna go for a lunge position like this, one leg forwards, one leg back, and we're just gonna do an isometric hold for 30 seconds, okay? So come with me in three, two, one. So we're up really high here. Think about the angle in the knee. If this is easy, then all you gotta do is go down lower and hold it. If it's too hard, come back up. Just building that strength and stability in this position here, making sure the glute to the back is engaged, bending this back knee a little bit and holding it here. And five, four, three, two, one. Step up and straight over to the other side. 30 more seconds in this position. So it's completely up to you on what depth you take. If your knees are sore, then sometimes it might just be up here. That is fine. We are getting these muscles activated and ready to support the knee. And the stronger you are, the lower down you go. Okay, step up and straight into set two, back into the first leg. So if you're ready to take it lower, then you can. But from my knee strengthening journey, I know that it's much better to not push past any pain, but in fact, stay in what's quite easy, get strong there, and what easy just gets better and better and better as you get stronger and stronger. And think about your feet. Don't allow it to cave inwards, but push the arch of your foot up so your toes are gripped on, your heels are down. Step up and switch to the other side. Last time in this isometric lunge hold. Almost done. We're gonna take it from here into squat hold and then a full squat and then we're done. Okay, and two, one, stand up, shake it off. All right, let's take it into the final section, which is the squats. So get your feet in your squat position, about hip width apart or a little bit wider, out, turn the toes. We're gonna do a one minute hold and then a one minute full squat. So we've got two minutes of work left to go. We're gonna take it into a hold position. Are you ready? Let's go. So depth is up to you. Like in the lunge, it might be up here. That is fine. Straight back, chest up, shoulders back, bend at the knee, don't allow to cave inwards, keep out, so you're making sure those glutes are engaged. And then we hold it. And then if you are quite strong and ready to progress it, then you come down a little bit lower, building strength in this position. Whatever you can do for one minute. And at the beginning of my knee pain journey, I thought I needed to do all the rest, give it all the, the ice and the heat and not get it working, which as an acute injury, you need to do. But so much progress happens when you start to do a strengthening journey, when and if you are ready to do so. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, stand. Let's rest, shake it off. Um, and as soon as I started to strengthen the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, and the calves, my knee pain started to really reduce. Get ready for a squat up and down if you're ready. In three, two, one, let's go. We're now doing the final set of the day, a squat up and down. If you can't do this pain free yet, then go back to the holding or just small movements. Getting used to bending and pushing up. If you can't do it, then very small movements. Otherwise, the lower, the better. As you get more range of motion, more flexibility, mobility, and stability in the knees. Five, 
Keep it going. Final set of this workout. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest there. Good. That is your knee strength workout complete. Do this daily if you can to build up the strength or at least a few times a week. And when these exercises start to get really easy, you know you can start to progress the range of motion and the intensity of your lower body workouts. But make sure if you do have knee pain, that you don't start doing some of these and then do all the lunge jumps and the heavy squats and things like this. Make sure you look after your body and take your strength at the place of where it is to the next level. And exercises like this, really, really help. Okay, make sure you're also doing your flexibility and stretching routine. I've got loads of mobility and um, flexibility stretching routines on my channel. So make sure you take a look at those and enjoy those. And as a final, final thing, I have been sipping along to, not in this workout, but I have been this morning and most days to collagen as well. So if you add that into your routine, that could potentially help you strengthen your joints and decrease your joint pain as well. So make sure you take a look, I'll put the links in my description. Okay, thank you so much for joining this workout and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.